Welcome back, or how's it going? Depending on where you've joined this. I scanned ahead, but chapter 5 was so brief, I didn't notice it, and I thought chapter 6 was still chapter 5. This is chapter 5, so let's do it real quick. It's about 6.33. Let's see if they bang on the wall. I think I can live with this. Moroni. To the future translator of his writings. Hang on. This suddenly became necessary. My old pal, old Chubb to the rescue. Now I, Moroni, have written the words which were commanded me, according to my memory, and I have told you the things which I have sealed up. Who's he talking to? Therefore, touch them not in order that ye may translate? For the thing is forbidden you. Except by and by, the sweet by and by, it shall be wisdom of God. Wow. Ooh. Profoundly, what the fuck? <sighs> Two. And behold, ye may be privileged that ye may show the plates unto those who shall assist to bring forth this work. God, he wrote those like. But, 1,500 years ago, or something like that, 2,000 years ago almost, no wait, yeah, about, yeah, maybe 1,500 years ago, he was talking to Joseph Smith, Jim, it's amazing, you just have to believe in God, you accept this, and who knows what else. Three, that's where we're at. And unto three shall they be shown by the power of God. Wherefore, they shall know of a surety that these things are true. I mean, case closed. Four. And in the mouth of three witnesses shall these things be established. And the testimony of three, and this work in the which shall be shown forth the power of God, and also his word, of which the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost. Their record. So ask them if it's true. And then ask them if they're true. And then wait for that feeling. That emotional reaction that will tell you it really, it really is. And your search is over. <laughs> and all this shall stand as a testimony against the world at the last day. Because we're against the world, right? You know, that that reality place where all the real stuff is happening? Yeah, that'll be over one day. And then fantasy and 
wishful thinking will take over, and everything you want will happen. After you're dead, you cash in. That's why you put, what is it, you build up treasures in heaven. Good works. They'll tell you what to do. Five. And if it so be that they repent, can you scare the fuck out of them with nonsense? And come unto the Father in the name of Jesus. So you gotta follow the right, you know, chain of command. Don't be like doing an in run past JC. Because that'll get you fucked up. I mean, fucked over. I don't know if it's fucked up. <sighs> okay. And they shall be received into the kingdom of God sometime after your daddy. So waste this life because there's this fucking wonderful afterlife waiting. If you do the right thing and believe without questioning the right things. That's whatever you were born into or whatever you fell into. Six. And now, if I have no authority for these things, judge ye. He's asking us to judge again. JC said don't do it. Or we get judged. Oh, wait, we get judged anyway. Oh, I get it. Okay. I think you're a dick. I think this is stupid. <laughs> you asked me to judge, I just did. All right. <laughs> For ye shall know that I have authority. When ye shall see me, yeah, we'll know then. And we shall stand before God. God at the last day. Amen. That's it for five. Six looks juicy. We'll save that for later. Maybe tomorrow. I'm thinking, even though the weather might be bad, I want to do an outdoor DNC. And I'm going to bring the big print one this time. I hope you'll check that out. And I'm done for tonight. So I hope you learned something and you'll share it with me. Because I probably missed it. Peace. Fuck out. Have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having. You you decide.